Hi there, this is Marlena with video number two in the relationship series that we are going through together. I would love you to go watch the first video in this series and do the steps that I have given to you to begin this amping up of your romantic flame energy. Today's video is, is your bed dead? If your bed could talk, what would it say? Hmm. I am sure your mind just filled that blank in and I would love you to comment underneath this video. What is your bed saying? Okay. If your bed could talk, what would it say? Comment below. Because you are not alone in this journey. We all have a bed that has energy to it. It has a story that it is vibrating out to the world and the universe. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to dive deep into the reasons behind that story and it all begins inside you inside your heart and your mind okay your heart has a story right from the past experiences and if you had a past in that bed okay that story is still vibrating in that bed okay so how do we clean this up right we use feng shui and we use some physical energy right and an intention so we're going to set the intention together today to clear the story out of your bed and your bedroom so everyone on this planet has a story about romance okay it may have failed many times you might have had um, many good relationships along the way you learned a lot right you got stronger you got smarter you got wiser now I do have some clients that are angry um, so they refuse to open their heart and they have heart walls and they do not want to experience um, anymore so they turn cold and they have an energy of anger so they draw in people that are angry okay at the opposite you know sex or you know today's day and age the same sex figures okay so we're not here to judge anybody we're here to clear the story we're here to clear the slate we're here to clean the bed and the bedroom up and function it the right way for you specifically now I do have on my website um, a package just for those of you that would really love to dive deep and start receiving the right partner, the one that you may call your soulmate, all right, your twin flame, whatever that is for you. We have many soulmates on the planet. They are not just romantic partners, okay? They could be family members and friends, uh, people come and go in our lives. But there is one uh, specific partner that will stay, okay? And that is the one that aligns with you, right? Perfectly, okay? So that's the one we're looking for, correct? Yes? And we want our beds to vibrate on that vibration and send out the message that attracts that partner and keeps that partner and only that partner so if you have studied feng shui then you know the things that they talk about in feng shui for the bedroom okay now there are certain things that maybe you didn't know and you're going to learn that so stay tuned okay and we're going to dive deep together and then we are going to go into um, a call together so we're all going to jump on a call together so if you would like to do that 
and um, share your experiences or ask questions. Um, that is coming up very soon. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the website. The little box is going to pop down for you to sign up, okay, and get on my mailing list. That is the best way to do that. If you want to join the upcoming call that we're going to have, and I'm going to invite a um, coach to join me. So there'll be two of us assisting all of you that would like to join on this call. I'm going to um, allow, you know, 12 or more people. So we have this small group and then we're just going to work together. Okay, so we can all get our um, questions answered, right? And write it down, take notes you know, share with one another what our experiences are. Um, there will be people on the call with a similar story as yours, okay? Um, so do that after this video. But right now, um, for those of you that don't know too much about Feng Shui, it is an energetic shifting that happens uh, yearly and also monthly. Okay, so a lot of people uh, have set up their bagua, your house, you know, if it faces a certain way, this is the way you set it up, you know, and that works to a point, right? But every year, you know, it shifts, okay? And what happens is a new star comes to that area. So for this year in 2020 that we're at right now, we have seen how it's shifted, right? Now, if you notice, all right, there's been a lot of um, trauma, right? A lot of sickness, a lot of fear, a lot of um, rioting, things like that, a lot of storms. Okay, so if you work with me, I will help you to calm your house down, to balance it out, all right? But the thing we're working on now is your romance okay your relationship sector um, now the one main thing for this year that you might not know is the east section of the home the Bagua in the east is usually your health sector okay and as you can see the virus came from the east okay right it's hitting the health sector so there's one thing you might want to take note of and if your room is in the east if you could possibly move it into a different section and not the south okay south bedrooms not a good idea east bedrooms not a good idea this year okay the south is bringing in a sickness star double okay and trouble and usually the south is our business sector so look at it look at the business right okay so it affected the health and the business all right so listen very carefully and if you're pregnant come out of those two sections all right if you are um weak sick you know in pain it could be from those sections in your home they need to be balanced they need to be feng shui correctly please contact me i will give you that information for free um because i care about you you know um so what we're going to talk about now is your bed your bedroom your bed has a story your bedroom has a vibrational story what is it matching it's matching the story right and your life is matching that story your house has um a story right so old occupants right what was their story yeah, they left it behind, believe it or not. So you try to smudge it and you cleared it and, you know, all those things. But still, you're experiencing something that is not to your highest good. 
it's not what you would love to experience, right? Your love life may have gone sour, all right? Completely sour. I know from a fact, when I moved to this place that I'm in now, okay, the feng shui, when I first entered the home, it felt free, it felt clear. But when I went into the east bedroom, okay, far down the house here, I felt somebody was sick in that room. Lo and behold, that was a story, right? Then they left grief and loneliness and despair. So in the east bedroom, that door is closed. It's been closed. Um, but I shifted the energy there, okay? And that story is no longer there. But this year, I had to take care of the energy coming from that area. And the south, which used to be my office, I came right out of there, all right? I noticed that the energy dropped, all right? So my business dropped. And no matter what I did, no matter what way I faced, no matter what feng shui I did, it did not support what I was doing. So I came out of that section, yes? And then I looked at the feng shui, and I said, oh yeah, that's why. And then the north, okay, has a star of arguments. So if your bedroom is in the north, you want to come out of there, okay? I am supporting you. I know this is a lot to take in right now. So you don't want to be in the east, you don't want to be in the south, and you don't want to be in the north if you want to amp up your relationships right here and right now, especially this month, all right? Next month, there'll be new stars flying in because what happens is we have yearly stars and we have monthly stars that are affecting us plus the planets, all right? and your personal feng shui, all right? So that's why you need somebody to coach you like me that knows the specifics for you, okay? Because your friend next door can have a loving relationship and you're over here having a rotten one, right? So this is why we need to not be jealous of them or envy them. We need to work on our personal feng shui. That starts in the heart, right? It starts in the mind. But your home has a heart. And the center, okay, was star number seven this year. A big issue. Every home was affected by the center star coming in for the year seven. It was a seven. Okay, so wherever the seven star, all right, is, there is a problem, right? So the seven is in the center of your home right now for the whole year. So we have feng shui the center of our homes, right? And added more love, light, clearing okay you want to open up the space in your home open up the heart of your home we want to open up the energy where it's balanced out and what needs to go out of your home is clutter and negativity all right so first things first your bed from typical feng shui, your bed should be positioned against a solid wall with a headboard, okay? Now, it is not a very good idea to have a bathroom in your bedroom, which most homes do today. If you do, close the bathroom door, close the sink drain, and close the toilet right? And the same thing in the shower drain. Close it down while you're not using it, okay? So you keep the good energy, especially your finances, okay? They get drained 
okay? Energy gets drained. So we want to close the drains and keep our energy, keep our good energy flowing. So there's a tip for some of you. Men, especially listening, okay? Close the lid on the toilet, all right? Let your spouse know why. Let your friends know why, you know? I had a situation where I had a, you know, family member come and visit. I kept saying, close the sink drain, close the toilet drain. You know, they weren't used to that. And then I said, well, where I live, we have lizards, okay? Um, Texas has snakes, all right? So it kind of would, like, give you a creaky feeling. Um, and I said, close the toilet, all right? So they were looking on their computer, and lo and behold, what comes up? Lizard found in toilet bowl, right, in the south, where I live. And I laughed because they brought that to me and said, check this out. I said, I told you. But see, sometimes, you know, you got to tell them in a way that moves them. Because if I said I'm feng shui in my house, they wouldn't understand what feng shui was they think i'm crazy but i'm not crazy i am serious and it works so that's how i got them to shut the drains okay while they were staying here so that worked very well all right and now um also another tip is if your bedroom is against a wall where your bed the head of your bed or the foot of your bed or whatever is lined up basically with the shower, the toilet, the sink, or the stove, it's not a good idea either, okay? Because of the piping behind you, okay? So that's another thing. Now, also, if your bedroom slopes down, the ceiling slopes down, all right, that energy is high on one end and low on the other. So if your feet, say, are positioned at the part of the ceiling where it goes down, your energy towards your feet goes down. So you get weak as you're sleeping. Um, it's not good to have beams over your head. They could give you headaches, all right? Your closet, should not be all cluttered up because that brings you confusion. So what we're trying to do here is support you in getting you to look at where your bedroom is, how it's set up, right? That's the first thing. And another great tip is if your bedroom, your bed is set up and your feet, okay, or your head are aiming straight out the door not a good idea okay so move your bed to a better position okay um we all have a position that brings us more power right your position that you sit in work in sleep in interview in um has a lot to do with your power in your life okay so you want to learn that stay tuned and get signed up for the upcoming call because we can go really deep together individually in this video it would take hours for me to go through everybody's individual um power positions okay so we can do that in a small group and work on it together and take notes okay and i will record it and send it to each one of you so you will have that in your spiritual toolbox but today this video is going to support you in beginning to look at what is happening in your life right and how you can spruce it up uh, move it along so maybe you are listening to this um, video right now because your love life stinks literally all right maybe you want to amp it up maybe you are just like 
let me see what this is about. Whatever reason you're here, you're here because you were drawn here. And you have something inside of you that is craving more love, more affection, right? More of that feeling, right? The feeling of love, being supported, being cared for, right? Or you want to love somebody, right? We all want to share love with one another. And during this time, it might seem in your mind that it's hard and difficult to meet someone, but it's not. I can tell you that from experience, okay? There are many clients right now that have worked with me, that have um, used the package that I offer on the website in the upper right corner, Be Sexy and Free. You can go read about that and find out if that will work for you. It has worked with every client that used it, okay? Because what it does is it begins to clear out the um, heart, the emotions, the old traumas, the old energetics that were left behind, the attachments, the cords, if there's any, um, you know, um, what do we want to say? We want to say old life, you know, issues that are there, you know, um, entities, any of that stuff. If you feel cursed or, you know, you have patterns, it breaks them apart. It dissolves them. And there is a package for the women. There's a package for the men. Okay. So I separated that because the ladies need to get supported in a different way than the men. All right. So if you check out the package, you're going to find out what it is going to do for you. We also need to cut all the cords from every relationship we ever had. And that is in that package. Okay. And you're getting personal assistance from me. So you're going to work um, privately. All right. It's like having several sessions with me in that package. And um, now, ladies, you can buy the one for you and the one for the man. Okay. And if you have a dead relationship, a marriage or, you know, partnership that has gone sour, okay, and you are the female and you want to amp that romance up and bring it back, bring back the spark, that is possible because in the man's package, there is a track in there specifically to get the man turned back on turn on his fire again okay it is very powerful because a man is a hunter all right so you are the hunted so do not chase a man let the man be the hunter okay so step back and allow that to happen all right stop trying too hard yeah it's not our job to pursue a man all right, the man is the hunter. So once he starts hunting you, right, then you become that hunted, alluring, attractive energy that he is craving. And I'm going to help you to keep him craving for years and years and years. Okay, so that's why you're here today. And men, you might be in the situation where your woman has gone cold. Okay, so you can get the one for men and the one for the ladies. And you'll see a big difference in your romantic relationship. But we're dealing with your bedroom. And the bedroom has a language of its own. We should take out all the computers, all the phones, all the TVs, all the electronics. Take out um, exercise equipment, pictures of family members, pictures of angels and saints. Um, this is a big one as well. Take out all the urns. 
dead ashes, okay, you know what I'm talking about, old jewelry, documents about your old relationships, divorce documents, all that should not be in your romantic bedroom. So there are some keys right there for you. Some of you are going to rush in there today and start getting rid of that junk. Okay? Sell it. Throw it out. Do something. If you have, um, you know, urns from your dead spouse or cat or dog or any of that, put it out in the yard. Bring it to a beautiful place. Bury it. Okay? Yeah. All right? It's okay to remove your spouse and the pets out of the house. That's dead energy. Are you hearing me? All right. So we need to take that container and move it. I had a client who contacted me. We did a session and they said, I can't sleep. I'm having an awful time sleeping. And I said, when you are in bed, what is the first thing you see in the morning? Her dead spouse's ashes were there. I said, uh-huh. Take that and go bury it in the yard. Make a beautiful garden, whatever it takes. Then come back and tell me how you sleep. They went and did that, come back, they're sleeping like a baby. There is a dead energy there. When you're staring at the past all the time, when you're marinating in the past, when you're living in the past, when you're thinking of the past, right? When you're desiring the past, it's dead energy. There is no past. We are in the present moment together. So what is your bed talking about right now? Right? Yeah. What we want to do is first of all, get rid of the dead energy, get rid of the past, right? In video one, I talked about what to do. So I want you to go and do those steps today motivate yourself okay enough to do this work all right we got to do a little physical work with intention so how much do you really desire a better romantic experience a better love story a better marriage a better partnership right yeah your home and you have a relationship, right? So if you walk in your house, right, you know your house, it always looks the same, right? Let's change that, all right? All right, let's amp it up a little, brighten it up, make it tell a story of we love each other. So if you and your house were married, what kind of relationship would you be having? What would your walls be saying to you? What is your floor saying to you? What is your furniture saying to you? Mm. So today, what is your bed saying? Right? What is your closet saying? What is your heart saying to your bed? And what is the heart of your bed saying back to you? Lonely, separated, sad, angry, right? Feeling rejected, unwanted, unloved, unacceptable, not good enough, not pretty enough, not handsome enough, right? We're going to change that for you. That is my intention. I want you to live your dream life. You have a purpose here and you are to be loved and respected and honored and desired. All right. Your partner should desire you more than you desire them. 
And if you are not experiencing that, let's talk. Let's shift that. Let's change it. Let's have a beautiful journey together. Sign up on my website today. Don't wait. Sign up. Get your name on my mailing list because I am going to be gathering your name with a bunch of other people, okay, and a coach that I am going to be calling in to join us so that we can support you in a big, beautiful ball of energy that is love and only love where there are not, there is nothing that you could say that would be embarrassing. All right. Some of my videos are going to have some embarrassing words for certain people. And that's why that package that's available, Be Sexy and Free, is personal. And you listen to it with headphones on if you have children in your house. Okay? Because it's very personal and it's deep and it's serious. All right? Because I've been through the ringer. All right? With serious relationships that ended and I was realizing the pattern, right? I'd have a great relationship and a crappy one right after, right? But none of them lasted, right? And I kept saying, what is going on, all right? And I didn't know about energy. I didn't know about family patterns, all right? I didn't know about feng shui, all right? But it's not only feng shui and trinkets. We're not working with trinkets here. All right. It's okay to have some stones and things like that. And elements. Great. That's We work with elements here. Okay. And the elements that I use are usually free or only a couple bucks to get your hands on them. So you're not in a place where you got to go and turn your home into a Chinese restaurant looking place. No, we don't need that. Okay. What we do need is to go inside of ourselves and clear all this stuff, which can be done, but you got to really be serious about what you would love to experience. Okay. If you look at somebody who is in love, happy, successful all right that's the joy energy that they have inside of them because that joy is what's drawing in all the good things all right and they have joy because they're clear they're free all right they're not holding on to the past they don't have garbage in their home all right they aren't holding on to old wedding rings and old uh pictures and things like that right so I've gone into people's homes and all that you see in there are pictures of sad things weapons on the wall dead animals on the wall right urns um, the house is dark and gloomy uh, all they do is talk negative talk right uh, the TV's on with the rotten news and then they're telling me how bad their life is. And I'm looking around and I'm saying, no wonder why, right? So I have to do three hours of work with them physically on that occasion, right? We open the blinds, we let some sun in, we move the urn outside, um, you know, we turn the music on, we shut that TV off. Um, I go room by room with them and say, okay, this needs to get out of here. All right. When you walk into this room, what do you feel? And they will always have a negative response. All right. When you go out the door of your house and you come in, what do you see? Single pictures, single statues, right? That is not going to bring you a relationship. All right. Another thing, ladies, men do not want to come into your home 
and see pink, 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 and pillows all over, and pillows all over the bed, all right? They don't like that, all right? Think about that. Now, if you want a man to come into your life and share your home with you, all right, you got to be more thoughtful. And the same with a man. I've gone into men's houses that I dated, and first of all, it smells, right? Gross. Secondly, it's filthy, all right? They dress really well, too. They drive a great car and is clean. You get in your, their house and whoa, okay? So no woman wants to be in that environment, all right? Now, single men just throw their clothes around. The dishes are in the sink. The bed's a mess. It looks like a um, hunting place, right? Or it's full of um, beer bottles and liquor bottles, that kind of stuff. That does not bring in a good partner, all right? Think about this. So it's going to be a little bit of visual work, first of all, right? Using your senses, right? The first thing is the sense of smell. That's the first thing you see in that house when you walk in. You smell something. So your eyes are like open wide, right? To that scent, to that fragrance, whatever it is, okay? And your eyes become alive with, whoa, the first thing you see, all right? Is it attracting the person or repelling them? I walked into a neighbor's home down the street. I don't like that neighbor's house, okay? Now, you open, their door is open, so you go in. It's all dark, dark, dark. The first thing you're hit in the face with is a mirror right in your face. Bad feng shui. Mirror has to come out of the bedroom as well. Get the mirror off the bed okay I had a bed with a mirror built in to the headboard with shelves I thought oh this is beautiful I did not know what it was doing okay my marriage failed multiple relationships he was having right then there was a mirror on my dresser in that room okay that was another thing so double mirrors terrible right so I would suggest if you have a mirror on your dresser cover it okay or remove it because it doubles what it is focused on so if it's aiming at your bed all right that's gonna bring in multiple partners all right we don't want that I know you don't want that if you want a serious, committed relationship. That's what we're talking about today. So get rid of the mirrors, okay? Get your bed lined up, right, with a solid wall. If it's against the windows, all right, cover them windows because you need solid behind your head. Not aiming at the door. Your feet should not be aiming to be pulled out the door by the hearse. Think about that, okay? We're talking feng shui, but we're also talking energy. So, when you walk in your bedroom, okay, that bedroom should be a place where you can rest, where you can lay down and relax and unwind, where you can have a romantic relationship okay where it's loving and beautiful okay so we're gonna dive deep into your bed into the mattress the mattress has a story the blankets the sheets you might need to throw them sheets and pillowcases and all that junk out all right depending on what the story was going on in that bed all right did you have that bed when you were divorced, right? Yeah, some people do. It's time to take that bed and get rid of it, all right? 
because we do not want to keep running that energy in your life. So think about that. And some of your minds are saying, well, I can't afford a new bed or a new mattress, things like that. We can work on that on the call. All right. But I'm just giving you these serious tips that no one else really gives you. They give you typical feng shui. Take the Bagua map and lay it down on the floor and set up your house like this. And you go and do that, but nothing good is happening for you. And you're saying, what's wrong with me? I've done all this stuff. I took all these courses. I work with all these experts. And it's still not working for me. This is why you're here. This is why you're here. And you might be moving. You might be in a situation right now where you're separating. And that's brought you here too. We can support you in what you're going through right now and change it. Give you back your joy. Give you back your self-esteem. Give you back your own power and get you free and clear and feeling fresh and alive and sexy from the inside out. That's why I'm here. So if you would like some more support, you can go to my website right now. It's underneath this video. Click on that link. You will find that support is there for you. You can grab a session with me. Right now, I would suggest that you, male or female, grab that package on the upper right corner of the website. There is a drop-down box. So you can pick A for women, B for male, okay, or both. All right, I have many clients that purchased both and their life changed. All right, I had a lady, she purchased it, listened to it, all right, not even a week later, had a testimonial that she met somebody when she went to go grab some food. They had an outside stand somewhere. You could just, you know, walk up and get some food, hop into your car. She met a really handsome guy, right? Told he, his eyes were shining, you know, so it was that attraction. It was the universe saying, here you go, right? So there that was. And then the second one, they were very sad. They didn't have a relationship for 20 years. And the lady turns around and her girlfriend says, I want you to come to a house party with me. And the lady's like, I don't want to go to a house party because she had such heaviness on her depression. Nothing works for her. That kind of attitude, right? And I'm not in the mood. So her girlfriend convinced her to go. And she wore pink and she went. And at that house party, lo and behold, <laughs> here comes her partner. They clicked. He's wearing pink too. Isn't that something? Now they find out that they both love to cook. And they're going to write a book together. Isn't this amazing? So what can this package do for you? Let's find out, right? Let's find out. There is nothing to lose in trying, right? If you don't try, you never know. You lose. You don't gain nothing by doing nothing. It's in the action that you start experiencing your dream life your dream partner. That's what we're working on right now. So I want you to work with me and see what you can experience in your life now. And then after, right, I could ask you the question after, if your bed could talk, what would it say now? What would you want your bed to say? Hmm. Right? 
So let's see what we can do together. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We went a little long, but it was serious. I need to get through to the group of you that come into this channel because there are so many people hurting on different levels. You know, everybody's energy is different. Everybody's experiences are different, but so much alike, right? Your heart and your emotions cry out, love me. And that partner's out there, his heart or her heart is crying out, love me. I'm available. So you be available. If you're not available, your bed is telling that story. So let's change that for you. I am so happy and grateful that you joined me today. Rather, there's one of you listening. Rather, there's a thousand of you listening. The universe drew you here today. The universe is about to change your life. Are you ready? Are you ready, willing, and able? Yes. Say yes. Say yes to you. Say yes to you right now. Say yes to change. I say yes to me. I say yes to change. Say yes to being available for your partner, the real partner, the one that the universe sends to you, the one that loves you unconditionally, the one that will support you, the one that you can click with and stay with and have fun with and enjoy the journey with. Yeah? Are you ready for that? If you are, say yes and go underneath this video and change your life forever. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you on the next video. This is video number two. I want you to make sure that you go watch the video before this for your relationships. And then come back. Make sure you come back because the next video is going to pop up giving you some more helpful tips because I know some of you love free stuff and that's great I enjoy giving free you know samples because it change, changes your mind it changes your energy and it helps you Thank you so much, universe. Thank you, angels. And thank you for being here today and supporting my work. Those of you that would love to um, share this video, I really would appreciate that. And write in the comments underneath, don't forget. If your bed could talk, what would it say? I want to hear from you. This way we know what to talk about on the call as well how we can support other people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful day full of joy, full of love, and full of a beautiful, loving experience from this moment on. Remember this day, write it down. Something's going to change in your life. I can guarantee it.